And I'm going to just go off the rails for a second and talk about one of my favorite rappers. Okay. His name is MF Doom. Okay. The M- the MF stands for motherfucking. And the nice. Doom stands for Dr. Doom. In the fact that this rapper always wears a metal mask on his face. Nice. No one knows what he looks like. He is always wearing a metal mask on his face. His first album was heavy on beats and samples from Doc from Fantastic Four cartoons that nice. featured Doctor Doom. And then his second album upped the ante and started featuring samples from Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which features Judge Doom. Nice. So he's always featuring. He's always featuring. Um, clips from cartoons and stuff that that feature the name Doom. So so you'd get like Sue Storm saying that Doom is mad, <laughs> and then it would be like Anthony, it, like a like a it would be um who framed Roger Rabbit. That Doom is crazy, crazy like a Looney Tune. Mm-hmm. You know. So he he oh. He, he he's an alcoholic. Just to be clear, MF Doom is an alcoholic, but he's an alcoholic who does these bizarre. The best way to describe them is indie art raps, because he doesn't seem to be rapping for any sort of audience. He's almost rapping for himself. Mm-hmm. Nice. He features a lot of he features a lot of bizarre samples and bizarre uh, musical work. There's one sample called "Hey," which features nothing but beats from Scooby-Doo cartoons, from old Scooby-Doo cartoons. Nice. Yeah. And then there's another song called Cookies, and it's obvious that he's talking about a sexual type of cookies, but the beat of the song is the end credit music from the 1970s and 80s Sesame Street. (laughs) The guy's really bizarre. He always had like a soft spot for cartoons and weird things like that. So in like the early 2000s, um, Adult Swim reached out to him and said, do you want to start working for us? So he teamed up with the uh, MF Doom teamed up with Adult Swim. They gave him um, studio time with the producer Danger Mouse. So yeah. they combined themselves into an artist called Danger Doom. And all of the songs were either or about or featured Adult Swim animated characters. So throughout the album, you would have like, there's one song called Space Hose, which is all about Space Ghost. Nice. And it would feature like Space Ghost at the end of the album. I'm not going to hand over my show to you, Doom. Do you know why? It's my show, not yours. Space Ghost. It ain't Doom Coast to Coast. <laughs> yeah, here are the keys to the show. Let me let you drive for a while. America's just craving some Doom. <laughs> and then there are songs that are, that, are, that are about Aqua Teen Hunger Force. There are songs that sample, like, the Brack show. And then throughout the entire album... He keeps uh, hearing um, uh, answering machine messages from Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force begging to be on the album. (laughs) Danger, it's your old buddy Shake. Did you get those emails I sent? I'm still waiting to hear from you, I think. Maybe you're in the shower. Are you in the shower? Well, I totally, I've got some other stuff lined up, (laughs) but I'm more to doing yours. So if you could let me a know today, that would be great. In fact, Adult Swim once had a, a, a New Year's Eve countdown that was hosted by MF Doom. Uh-huh. And he was he's like in like a nice sweater vest and he's all drunk hosting it. Hey, it's MF Doom. I'm gonna be staying up all night drinking large amounts of eggnog. And hosting cartoons, come and join us or something. I don't know. I'm drunk. <laughs> MF Doom, New Year's special. 
Come and watch. And I had a chance when I was in Sacramento to see MF Doom in concert, but then I learned that he's such an alcoholic. Yeah. Like a, like a Dave Sch- like like a Dave Attell level alcoholic. Okay. Just to be clear, he drinks so much that sometimes he will just give his mask to one of his buddies and have him do a concert. Oh, okay. Gallagher. Since no one but since no one knows what he looks like anyway, so there's a good chance that you spend thirty dollars to see him in concert only to get some guy who's his friend embarrassingly fudging his way through a concert as MF Doom. Oh man. And I thought, I'm not taking that chance. I want to see MF Doom, but I'm gonna be that guy who spends twenty five bucks for a seat and mm-hmm. then I get some random dude. Yeah. But the reason why I bring this up is because I was such a big fan of MF Doom that I went looking for other things that MF Doom did. He does a few songs uh, for the Gorillas, who are still very popular somehow. I have no idea how Gorillas are still popular. Okay. Uh, and then he loves like old cartoons and old movies and stuff so much that he renamed himself for one specific album, which I have, and it's one of my favorite albums in the world. He (laughs) called himself King Ghidorah. Nice. And he got all of his rap buddies to take different uh, monster names. So each song will be like, track one, take me to your leader, featuring King Ghidorah, Anguirus, Megalon, and... Minya. Okay. And and so the entire album is just all of the beats are taken from Godzilla f- movies. And all of the uh, audio tracks that he samples are from Godzilla films. And in fact, there is a song which I sent to you called Monster Zero and it's like a five and a half minute song and every bit of dialogue that he samples is from a Godzilla film that features King Ghidorah in it. Nice. And the reason why I sent it to you is because there are there are a number of bits of dialogue from this movie. Cool. Now you now you understand that we are from outer space. Yeah. <laughs> What did you have on your mind? Peace terms. Peace terms? Yeah. Ghidorah was... It's Ghidorah. Ghidorah the space monster. Yes. So I'm watching this movie going, yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Up, oh, that's from MF Doom right there. That's MF Doom right there. MF Doom. 